Today we will deal with a case of a 60 years old man patient. He has been operated seven years ago from a pancreatic cancer and now he presents a single metastasis in the liver. He will then be transferred to the MRI room for the ablation. We put an abdominal coil on the patient to have a better contrast of the liver for the puncture and also for the monitoring of the ice ball during the ablation phase. Again here the advantage of MRI is to have a very safety puncture compared to ultrasound and CT scan because you see the vessels and you can see the target. The T2 um, blade sequence shows that we can advance uh, the two needles uh, one centimeter so you see we have more precision with the T2 blade sequence than with the real-time imaging. This is mainly due uh, because of the artifacts around the needle on the real-time imaging, so it's more difficult to appreciate the exact position of the tip with this real-time imaging. So here we are uh, satisfied with the covering of the lesion and we, with the second uh, cycle we will maximize the damages on the periphery of the ice ball. So here it seems like it's a complete ablation. <laughs> 